Norm Duke, always thinking, always trying to come up with another way to make something happen on the lanes. Seventh frame, Arnold looking for a strike and has it. You know, to give you an idea of how confident Norm Duke is in his ability as a, not only a bowler, but as a person, and you see him going after another bowling ball, he switched bowling balls here. But to see how confident he is, I, you know, I said, what, what would you have been if you weren't a bowler? He says, doesn't matter, whatever it was, I'd have been good at it. <laughs> well, I gotta believe that. Oh, another 10 pin, and he's upset. Well, it was a great reaction, just again, that solid 10. When you're playing that extreme angle, remember Mike Miller was hooking the ball basically the same way here that Norm Duke is, and he was getting kind of the same reaction. That's solid 10. Here's another look at it, the ball coming in at an extreme angle and right up and around the neck. At the 10 pin, has it. Earlier I talked to him about specific goals for 1996. Did he have any? Well, yeah, and, and it changes week to week. You know, at, at the early part of the year, of course, you want to get out to a good start, get your name on top of all those stats and stuff. So, that, you know, that's where our concentration is now. And then once you kind of set pace early in the part of the year, then you try to set those big, bigger goals, so the bowler of the year, the player of the year, the Hall of Fame, and all that kind of stuff. So, so at this point, I'm trying to get off to a good start. That looked like an Amleto shot there, roll out flush. Yeah, that's what it looked like, exactly. If you had uh, just watched the ball go down, didn't know who threw it, you would say this was Amleto Monicelli. Here's another look at it again. Watch the ball roll up high and then stop right there. Flush in the pocket. Even match But Arnold working on a strike. Oh, he's got to like that one. Oh, got to like that one. Pin out. That ball left his hand. He got it up into the oil, but he had it rolling hard and hard early, and that was the difference in why he carried it. Well, you called it right away, partner. There we see it. Ten pins the difference. Two frames to go. And he's on his favorite lane. You've got to consider Dave Arnold right now the favorite in the match because if he strikes here, he'll take a pretty substantial lead with two frames to play. Norm Duke never out of it. If there's frames left to play, he's always in the match. In fact, I think Norm Duke prefers to be behind. He likes the pressure. He enjoys coming from behind. Yeah, kind of lost his balance. Yeah, I, I said the, thought the same thing. He just fell off to the right a little bit there. Got a little bit out of time, and when that happens, generally the ball will go high. It'll go to the left. If you fall to the right, the ball generally goes to the left. Pressure do that? I don't know. I really, you know, it could have been a, a multitude of things. Uh, this guy's been there before, and I don't think the pressure bothered him at this point. He's, he's in the lead. You know, if he was trying to get back, or if that was for the title, yeah, but. Has trouble winning on TV, 6 and 14, the record. Well, he's given the big guy an opening. When I say big guy, I mean so much talent, the big guy in talent, Norm Duke, a chance. If he can carry the 10 pin, if he doesn't carry the 10, well, we'll see you later. Yeah, but now he seems to find a way in these crucial situations to carry that 10 pin. I think more ball speed and a little more straight. What do you think? More hook. More hook. You got it. I think it's just dead flush. Yeah, it couldn't have been any better than that. That was about as good as you can get it. Well, he now goes from trailing by nine to leading by one. With an opportunity finishing on the left lane you can see the lock out the match. See what he does there at the foul line, Mike? That tremendous rotation of the wrist around the side of the ball and then the lift up the side. Once you get to that point, that's what gets it down the lane, the side rotation, and then the lift up the side makes it finish in the pockets, pocket area. We could have a tie again. We've got that possibility here. Here we go. He Norm didn't like Duke. that as well as the one in the ninth frame. No, you can see he wasn't real happy with the way the ball got down the lane. And uh, here's a look at Dave Arnold. And he's contemplating what he needs to do in the 10th frame. And that's pretty obvious. He needs to throw two strikes. If Norm Duke spares and strikes, he has 216. Dave Arnold going at a 216 pace. If he were to strike spare, we'd have a tie. Cross lane at the 10th and has to get this. And does. Shot several in this game. Count very big right here. Very big. No question. He must 
strike here for 216 to make Dave Arnold double to beat him or strike spare to tie. And believe me, that young man right there knows exactly what the score is. He doesn't need to look at a telescore. He knows what he needs. Well, all these bowlers have computer-like brains. I mean, figuring out the score. He's thinking, sit on the bench. He's thinking, I've done it before. I can do it again. He almost didn't get any. Major mistake there by Norm Duke. Wow. That wow. ball tilted almost on the edge of the lane. 2-13. Wow. Here's another look at that last shot. Watch what the ball does. It gets about 55 feet down the lane there. Here's, watch, watch what he does. And here, Norm is going, oh, don't go in the channel. But he's just about handed it to Dave Arnold. Well, we'll see. Right here. For all the money. Then he got it. Carried that light hit for the win. Well, we don't get to see the number one and number two player in the world, according to PBA computer stats, bowl each other, but we get to see a very talented young man that probably knows as much about computers as anybody around here, Dave Arnold, bowl Walter Ray Williams. That ought to be a good match. Well, a little practice right here. He just needs a couple of those to be a winner. Two right. of those four will do it. Two of those four. Huh? He kept them all in a bunch, which is a lot easier that way. <laughs> I think he can get two of those. What do you think? Yes, I think he can. This too. is a betting town. You think they're getting odds of these inside the casino here at the Hilton? What do you think? Well, they got odds on everything else. I don't know there why you not. Go. This is it. I'll, I'll take the odds. Uh, I'll give three to five. He makes it. How's that? <laughs> You're a gambler. I can see yeah, that. Right. All right. Gets all four of them. Wins. Wins the first match by three and wins this match by three. Dave Arnold defeats the number one rated player, Norm Duke, 216.